Hey, before we start the video, I just want to tell you that this video is sponsored by the fine folks at DinoJet who sent us a tuner to put on this 2019 Indian Scout Bobber that we've been doing all these upgrades to. And I'll put a couple links up here so you can uh, check out all the other videos, including the paint, etc. But DinoJet sent us a tuner because I wanted to show you how you can get improved performance out of your bike just by getting a simple tune on it. This is also going to be a benefit to those of you who don't necessarily have the convenience of having a tuning center located near you. Don't worry, we're going to show you how it's done. It's real simple. You know what? Let's stop talking about it. Let's just roll the video. What's up, y'all? How's it going? It's Brian at Two Indians. I hope you're having a great day today, whatever you're doing. Maybe you're just laying in bed in the middle of the night watching videos on YouTube. Maybe you're sitting at your computer trying to figure out how to tune your bike. Obviously, that's why you probably tuned in today, right? Because today we are gonna take this beautiful DinoJet PowerVision 3 unit and we're gonna run a remote tune on it from RVS Performance. Uh, I've worked with Ryan Scheller there before on another bike. I tell you, the value of his service is amazing. His communication is incredible. I don't know how he does it for the low, low price that he charges. Last week, I put this Indian Scout bobber, which happens to be my wife's bobber. I tell you what, you go to shoot a video and all of a sudden you get all this noise. As a matter of fact, you see that truck over there? I was just getting ready to start shooting and this guy pulls up and he pulls a stump grinder off the back for my neighbor's yard. And it's like, really? Where was I? Oh yeah, squirrel. Oh, here's what I was saying. Last week, I was up at Ace Cafe. I did put the bobber up on a dyno to do a pull and to see what kind of power we were getting out of it. And to be honest with you, I was really disappointed. The bike has a full stage one, which is an Indian intake. And we also have the Indian shorty uh, stage one mufflers on there too. But I was really disappointed to see that we were getting considerably less power than a friend of mine, Russ's bobber, who just has stage one mufflers from Kiriakin, the Maverick Crushers, which are insanely loud. But he was getting way more power than we were. You're gonna see why that is. I, I, I can't understand it. When you look at the Indian uh, promotional material for these pipes, it says you're gonna gain, you know, 5% more horsepower or whatever it says. And we got gotten less, I think, than stock. So gotta figure that out. First thing we gotta do is we gotta go run it and read what's happening on the ECU. And then Ryan is gonna make some adjustment and send us a tune. I'll show you how we do that. By the way, if you wanna see how we did this badass paint job on the bike, check out this video up here, up here. Um, I read the ECU and I loaded the stock file from the bike into the tuner and when you do that you can't do it diagnostic. So Ryan at RBS Performance sent me a file that you can read so we're going to take it for a ride real quick and see what we come up with. Ryan also said not to make the file too big so I'll only run it for a couple minutes. So I'm just going to run up the street and uh, do a quick run. Alright we just got the cable run around here. Got this thing stuck in my pocket. And away we go. Uh oh, looks like I'm out of gas. It's not the first time that's happened. <laughs> this is why I should not be making tutorial videos on YouTube. The first thing I gotta do is I've gotta load the new file that he sent me. Flash tune, searching for tune files. And we're gonna navigate down to the file he just sent me, which is scout base. And then it says press do to start the ECU flash. Pair this device to the vehicle. Yes. Yes. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm gonna sit on this bike for the next 10 minutes. Oh my god, I wish I would have done this back. Flash ECU with selected tube file. Yes. Preparing. Initializing. Oh, well this is gonna go pretty quick. I hope. 
All right, so he said all I have to do is push this button here and that'll start recording. All right, so I think I did about a three minute ride, maybe four minute ride, accelerated up through the power band, uh, got it up to about 75, 80 miles an hour. So now we're gonna take this file that I just recorded, we're gonna send it to Ryan at RVS, and he's gonna see what he can do with it. Tell me what the bike's doing. All right, so what I wanna do now is show you how to get a tune or a diagnostic file for your DinoJet tuner from the tuner to the PC or vice versa, back and forth, which is all part of this process. So if you just take your tuner, hit, plug it into your computer, but basically it's just a USB connection. And then we go back here. Okay, so this is really simple. So you're just going to open your email and you're gonna see a file from Ryan at RVS Performance. Right click on it and save it as a, as a file here in the PowerVision and then just hit save. And then it's gonna automatically show up in the PowerVision, it's that simple. And then when you're done, you just take it back to the bike. All right, flash is complete. Turn key off and then on. So he said that with this newer tune, uh, all I really need to do is let it run for 40 or 50 miles and then we'll uh, we'll do another diagnostic on it. So uh, I tell you what, I can tell right away, wow, that is, uh, that's pretty amazing, honestly. Holy cow, um, I didn't expect that. That is wild. Um, just a little bit of gas in this thing, really just kind of a lot of low end torque all of a sudden. It's definitely an improvement right away. All right, let's see what happens here. Oh boy. It ran great till I hit second gear and kind of jumped on it and then it just went into like limp mode because I look at this I'm giving it throttle here and I'm not getting nothing. Let me jump back over into my neighborhood. Oh boy, that's not good. Off and turn it back on and see what happened. Yeah, look at that. It just stalled out. What the heck? So I was just thinking to myself, self, um, since this thing can run a diagnostic, I think it'd be a really good idea to take it for a little spin, run the diagnostic, and take some readings while I'm riding it and see if it does that again. I'm gonna get on a little bit here. And there it goes again. And third gear, same thing, no throttle. Fourth gear, no throttle. Still in limp mode. Got to keep it running here. Yeah, she wants to die. There we go. She's dead. All right. <laughs> Boy, if Barbara finds out about this, she's going to be like, What did you do to my butt? All right, so I just got our second file from Ryan at RVS, and we're just gonna go ahead and stick this in here and load it up. And now that I'm getting the hang of this, this is only gonna take a couple minutes. So I sent those diagnostics off to Ryan, and then he tweaked it a little bit. And uh, he said he did give me one of the torquier tunes, but it's better than the first one. So we're gonna give it a chance. He also said in a nice way, dumbass, don't be jumping on it right away. The bike kind of has to learn. And look at me, there I go jumping on it. Yeah, that feels good. I think we're ready to put this dude back up on the dyno and see what we came up with. Now, of course, it had to be a rainy afternoon or evening.
for a bike night up at Ace Cafe. But I'm down for that. That's Mike in front of me. So we'll go up there and we'll get this puppy dialed in. Or at least see what she's doing. Yeah. It's all good. Those new floorboards, the shifter peg looks good. The new shifter rod. One thing I really like about that exhaust is that it says Indian on it. Like I, I think that looks cool. Technique when they try and advertise other shit on your bike. Yeah, right. Man, I gotta tell ya. This thing is like whisper quiet compared to my bike. I kind of like it actually. This thing's got a lot of power. I'm pretty shocked. I tell you what, my uh, I used to have a Scout. My old Scout did not ride like this. Not at all. I mean, I'm doing 85. This thing doesn't even feel it. I don't know what the RPMs are. Hang on. 4750. Man, I feel like I'm... I'm barely giving it any gas, but I guess the motor is humming pretty good. Now, if I was on the Springfield, I'd probably be doing maybe about 3,500 RPM, maybe 37 at 90 miles an hour. We are up at Ace Cafe. This is my van, Dakota. Yep, and my company is Rhino Motorsports. We're out here at Ace Cafe every Thursday. We're gonna get this Indian Scout on the dyno here. We got a pull yep. a few yep. weeks ago. We got a baseline, which was, I think, 64 foot-pounds of torque and right at about 80 horsepower. Yeah, and we're yep. gonna look back at that run as well yep. after we run it now with the tuner on it. Yep. And see where we're at, see yeah. what improvements we got. Yep. This guy does tunes, and he did my Springfield, and he did a great job, and I'm really happy with it. But I want to see just, you know, if this remote tune is going to be good enough. Right, I'm right, right, exactly. Decide. Yeah, we'll take a look at it. We'll see. All right, well, let's do that.
So the first time we started at about 79 horsepower and now we're up to 85. What is that, about an 8% increase? I'll do the math later. And then uh, for torque, we went from 64 and a half to 67.26. So I'll do the math later, but I can tell you one thing uh, more than that. I can just tell right away, listening. Yeah, both of them compared back oh, okay. to back, the best of the best. All right. It's the same down here. This was the previous, before, and then this is after the tune. Much better. Much better. We got decent gains, but I can feel the responsiveness. Yeah. That's a pretty good increase for just the tune, you know? Maybe you didn't do any... For a remote tune. It's not even putting it on the dyno. Right, right. With no modification, just... All right, so as you can see, that tune from Ryan at RVS did a fantastic job of bumping up the power and the torque. Uh, we went from 79 and a half horsepower before up to over 85. I guess that's about an 8% increase. Uh, I'm not really sure, I'll do the math later. And torque went from 64 to a little over 67. So not as much of an increase on the torque side. Everybody always says that what really matters is what you feel, not what the numbers say. And I can tell you that I feel it in my behind when I pull on that throttle. Guys, if you don't have a dyno near you, if you don't have a competent Indian tuner like Dakota at Rhino Motorsports, then call somebody like Ryan at RVS Performance and get him to do a remote tune for you. It's inexpensive, it's super fast, it's super easy. The guy is great to communicate with. It's everything that you would want. A lot of times you worry, okay, am I really gonna get what I'm paying for? And let me tell you, you do. And it's super affordable. So get yourself a tuner from Ryan, get with him, get a tune on your bike, get some extra horsepower, get some extra torque. You're gonna love it. It's gonna be awesome. Thanks for watching guys. Two Indians. I'm not going to bore you with too much, but let me tell you, when you hit the power band around 3,500 RPM, this thing just goes hog wild. All right, so I'm on an on-ramp here, and this ramp continues in its own lane, so we're just going to rip it. say that was a pretty good sample I don't know how fast it was but that was fast as hell Woo! oh my god this tune is redonkulous all right I just found a nice shady little spot it should only take a minute all right, let's go here flash tune Scout base. Where's the there's the stock tune? All right flash complete get on the road Maybe I'll do this whole segment in a British accent so I can be just like Jeremy Clarkson. Oh my god the power All right, we're gonna wait for a clear spot in the traffic I like all those cars up there to get further up ahead because what I found out in the last run is that you catch up to them really damn quick. So we're just going to sit here for a minute. Alright, let's see what happens. Are we ready? Give these people a few more minutes. Here we go. give you my immediate reaction is something that I noticed that I didn't notice before on that run I had the throttle pulled all the way back just to get what I got and I did not do that with the with the tune from Ryan 
so I am real interested to see how that came out but I can tell you this there's no question that the amount of power that was available in the tune from Ryan was far and away greater than what I had in the stock file but the proof is on the time clock and when we get back to the computer and I load these files in I can you know I can run a stopwatch essentially oh maybe that's a good idea maybe I will run a stopwatch with it next to it I wonder how I could do that oh I got an idea anyway let's see what it does all right let's get back on the computer okay so to recap here on the Indian stage one flash we netted a 5.33 0 to 60 mile per hour run and an 11 second flat 0 to 100 and with the RVS remote tune, we ran a 484 0 to 60 and a 10.03 0 to 100. That's a full second faster on the 0 to 100 and a half second faster on the 0 to 60. I actually ran twice for each of these runs, and these represent the best of the stock flash and the worst of the RVS tune. Uh, but to be fair, I got a much better launch on the faster RVS run. Two, one. Holy so I picked the two runs that matched the closest, meaning both of these had really awful launches. Uh, look, I'm not a professional. I was doing the best I can given the circumstances. So get yourself a Dynojet tuner and you will get better performance. No question about it. Dynojet does offer free tunes with the tuner. And as always, the best option is to have a local tuner do the job for you. But if that's not possible for either budget or geography reasons, get with Ryan at RVS Performance. He will get you running and you will be thrilled. Thanks for watching, guys. Brian at Two Indians. I'm out.